All right, hey doll, and welcome to another IKEA problem, because today we want to find the largest volume of a box, let's say Malm or Lak, whose surface area is 600 square centimeters. And this time we would like to solve this problem using Lagrange multipliers to see how elegant this is. So, what is the function we want to maximize? We want to maximize the volume of this box so kind of imagine a box with sides x, y, z. Then the volume, it's simply given by x, y, z. And there's a function we want to maximize. But we also know the surface area is 600 square centimeters. So what our constraint becomes is the surface area, which is 2xy plus 2yz plus 2xz which is uh, 600, which of course you can just write as xy plus yz plus xz minus 300 equals zero. So this will be our function and this is the constraint that we have. So let's write this down. So again, this is the function and this is So this is a function and this is a constraint. And now remember for Lagrange multipliers, the most important equation is that the gradient of f is parallel to the gradient of g. So it turns out at the maximum, those two gradients are parallel, which means in particular, this gradient is a multiple of this gradient, and this value lambda is called the Lagrange multiplier. So what we need to do, we need to differentiate f with respect to x, and set it to lambda times the derivative of g with respect to x, and same thing for the other derivatives. So fx is lambda gx, fy is lambda gy, fz is lambda gz, but now fx, that just becomes, I believe, yz. So yz is lambda times y plus z. So it's just nicely symmetric, and then fy would be xz, and that's lambda x plus z. And finally, um, fz, which is xy, is lambda um, x plus y. And don't forget, we also have the constraint, which we don't need for, for now. And here's the thing. So Lagrange multipliers is quite an art. It depends on the problem you want to solve what you do here. But what we can do, for instance, in this case, is maybe divide this equation by this equation and see what happens. Then, on the one hand, we get the following. We get uh, yz over xz, so y over x, equals lambda over lambda, so our multiply cancels out, and then y plus z over x plus z. Now, you might object, what if lambda is zero? And that is an excellent remark, because the Lagrange multiplier could be zero. But here, y and z are um, distances, so sides, they're positive. y plus z is positive. And so if this positive number equals lambda to this positive number, the Lagrange multiplier can't be zero. So you can legitimately cancel this out. All right, and now let's cross multiply. So y times x plus z equals x times y plus z. And then we get yx plus yz equals xy plus xz. And then this xy's cancel out. And not only that, the z's cancel out. And you ultimately get that y equals x. So that's already one piece of info that we have. 
The other piece of info you can get, for example, by dividing this equation by this equation. And then let's see. Then what we get is, so xz over xy equals lambda over lambda, so that cancels out, x plus z over x plus y. And then let's use a usual um, And then if you cancel out those equations, x and x cancels out, so we get z over y, the lambdas cancel out, which is great, and then x plus z over x plus y. And then do the usual cross multiplication trick, so essentially z times x plus y equals y times x plus z, and then zx plus zy equals yx plus yz. And again, same spiel as before, the zy's cancel out, and then this is x in common, so the x cancels out, and we get z equals y. All right, so now we have those two pieces of information, y equals x and z equals y, and which already tells you something very important, namely that x equals y equals z. So we get x equals y equals z, which already tells you that the optimal box must be a cube, a cube of side length x, if you wish. So already you can see whenever you go to Ikea and you see a cubic box, just think they did that big to maximize or minimize a certain area of volume. So those are really optimal in nature. And last but not least, well, how do you find x? Well, simply using your constraint. Because remember, g was xy plus yz plus xz minus 300. So that equals to 300. But now x equals y equals z. So we get x squared plus x squared plus x squared equals oh, 300. This is Sparta. This is Ikea. OK. And then we get 3x squared equals 300. <laughs> I just realized that. And then x squared equals 100, but now x is positive, so x is 10. And so what we get is, you know, x is 10, y is 10, z is 10. And then what is the, uh, what's the largest volume? Well, the largest volume is x, y, z, which just becomes 1,000 cubic centimeters. And there you go. So you see, Lagrange multipliers, what I want to say is, it's more creative than you know, the regular optimization, but it's, uh, it's very elegant, in my opinion. So here, already, we can find that x equals y equals c. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.